Do you, is there any particular bands you like back then? The Reactions. Okay. Uh, the Reactions. <laughs> and the Reactions. <laughs> yeah. Mainly, yeah. I mean, the Eve was, you know, great. Yeah. Yeah, the Eve. That was, like, that was the first band I ever saw to eat. Okay. I went to the Blue Waters Motel. Right. I remember I bought, I went out to the Army, neighbors, uh, Army Navy, right. and I got myself a, a flight suit, you know, the whole green with all the zippers, <laughs> and I spray painted, I stencil spray painted all my favorite, The Clash, The yeah. Sex Pistols, all over it. <laughs> I went to the Blue Waters, man, it was the eat plan, man, it was, I was in heaven, I was like, my God, I didn't know these people were around, I thought it was like the only one or two people that I knew, and that was it, you know? Yeah. It was like a revelation. Wow, there's a scene, you know? I was supposed to have been like 19 or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of... There's a lot of bands. A lot of the bands I didn't see because um, we went to, you know, we left them to go to New York. Yeah, when did you go to New York? When was that about? Like, I think like the end of 1980. Okay. So, like, I know there were, like, the Breakers. Yeah. And actually, I never saw the Breakers. I never saw the Girls. Okay. Uh, so you mi you missed you never saw my band. Never did. You well, know, we were invisible. I, no, I, I knew all the you know the bands were out, yeah. but I, I never saw a lot of the bands. Right. And also like when we would play, because we played with a lot of those bands too. But you know I wasn't old enough. I wasn't allowed to go out into the club. Right. Afterwards, like we'd play, and then I'd have to stay backstage, and that was boring, so I'd leave. You know? Yeah. So I didn't get to see a lot of the bands that we actually played with. You know? And then right. a lot of people were like. Oh yeah, she's real snobby. She leaves, but that's that well. Let's the talk case, about you know? that because yeah. I'm I'm you know, accused of the very same thing. I got you know? a bad rap. It was my fault. Right. Well, you know, it's it's also <laughs> shyness too. You know, I mean, no, like, I wasn't shy. Oh. I just, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, under strict orders by a lot of the clubs. You know, so they didn't lose their liquor license. Cause oh, that's you were underage. Like Sixteen years old. Oh, ah, okay. So All 17. right. And I wasn't allowed to hang out in the club afterwards. So okay. Well, I didn't even drink anyway. It's uh, not like, you know. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, so they would say, you got to, you know, when you guys play, when you're done, you got to either wait backstage or, you know, you can stay in the backstage area. But, you know, that was kind of boring. So I'd, we'd, half the time we would play, and then I'd leave. Okay. You know? And people would take that like, as oh, being, yeah. yeah. She plays and leaves and doesn't even see any of the local bands. Yeah. I, I couldn't. Well, so. to tell you the truth, Robert... Um, and his bands like the Sick Liz or you know I don't know so much Charlie Pickett but the other bands that he managed had a rule you know you do not go after the show you do right, not you go out and drink with the bar with the you know drink with the crowd yeah. you know you they, you don't go out and talk to the, you don't talk to the other bands right. which for years I thought all these bands you know were like you know kind of weird because you know we're all musicians after all but right. but you know you don't you learn things you know and. That was basically it, and he tried to create that mystique, right. you know, so it was part of that. Well, yeah. I always thought, like, beforehand, like, I used to tell the guys in my band who were kind of like, I don't know, they weren't into that. I was like, we, we should never go out beforehand. Yeah. You know, like, before we play, like, stay backstage, so that way, you know, yeah. when you come on. You know, I didn't, I know no, they never did that, because they'd be trying to pick up girls, so. Well, that was know, a so big they complaint. They were out before we ever played, and I was like, oh, whatever. <laughs> but then, yeah, when we were done, I would have loved to have gone out and hung out with people, but I couldn't. So, yeah, okay. You know, I, so I'd I, have to, like, be whisked off. So let's put that to rest. Lisa's a good person all around, you know, and, you know, and I've been great to me. I didn't leave, because I didn't want to yeah. talk to anybody. Well, what was New York like? It was great. Where did you play in New York? Uh, we played at the Ritz. Mm -hmm. Um, we played. It was. Uh, we played at the Bottom Line, CBGBs, right. which was my favorite place to play. Better than the Ritz, which held a million people and everything. So, yeah. Was, How many people would show up when you played those gigs? Being a lot. Half of them didn't even know who we were. Right. It's not like they showed up for us. They yeah. just showed up because there was a band on a, you know, on a weekend. I mean, that's their, where they would go, to, you know, hang yeah. out and stuff. So, yeah. You know, a lot of people, and they were just. How were the audiences though after you flew when you were playing? How were they? They were great. Yeah. You know, New York just is happy to just go out and have a couple of drinks and, you know, see a band and they didn't care who we were, you know. Well, you were telling me tell, uh, about, uh, let's talk about uh, Billy Idol. Uh, and the Moni Moni thing. Yeah. I thought that's, you know, musicians are ruthless, but you want to. Yeah. Well, no, he was not dating, he was just kind of going out with a friend of mine that was living with us at the time. And he came over, they spent the night at our house, at our apartment, my, you know, my friend of mine and him. Right. And the next day, Eddie, yeah. Greg, yeah. and him were hanging out, and Eddie was showing him a bunch of videos of us from the Agora, and we did Moni Moni. Right. And he's like, 
Isn't this the, the greatest idea ever? Listen to the song we do. We do remember Tommy James Money Money played the song and yeah. Billy's Idol's going, Yeah, it's a great song. That's a good idea. You know, I never thought of that one. <laughs> <laughs> but after he left that night, I, I remember thinking about it and I was like, I was like, I don't know, maybe he should have he liked that a little too much, the idea. And I didn't think anything of it. Yeah. And then, like, really fast, he worked, yeah. you know, two weeks later, not even, like, yeah, like two, three weeks later. We hear, you know, Billy Idol just put out, you know, his new single, Moni Moni, and I'm like, oh, yeah, oh we were like Eddie idiots. <laughs> so, well, how was I supposed to know? It's not our song, you know, and then, like I said, it's not our song, so yeah. you can't say you can't do it, you know, it's not copywritten by, by us. Yeah. And it's tre that's what I mean by treasury, you know, you know. Yeah, we record it. But after that, it's like, what are you going to do, release it? After Billy Idol, Billy, you know, just released it? Well, you know what? It gives you guys validity, because at least you had the taste, all right, to pick that song and play it. And, and you know, he picked up on that. So in a backhand sort of way, it's like a compliment. Right, exactly. Hey. Oh, look, it's Kush. Uh, it's it's not, not a nice dog. <laughs> 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 this is back in okay. hey. This is She's nice to <laughs> okay. hey. 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 He He looks like a, what is it, Chihuahua Piranha. <laughs> I see he, he was attacked a couple of days ago by a oh, friend of ours oh, really? as a pit bull and yeah. brought the dog over. And the, <laughs> no, the dog was being really cool. The other dog, the pit yeah. bull, and, every, and he went nuts and attacked her. And she, she said, you know what? <clears throat> yeah, oh, he's cute. Nice. Come here, baby. Come here. Yeah, he's, no, no, he's no, a, he'll bite yeah, you. Yeah, he'll actually, <laughs> no, maybe not. He'll I'm sniff you, be nice, lick you, and then he'll bite you. See, look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take Cushy? We'll 